Welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and this is Single Mom on Guided Life, where I try to navigate through finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between. And I bring you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable, okay? This is going to be my simple um, monthly review, as I stated. We're not going to get in detail like we do by closing out everything. Um, basically, we closed out of our spending record already because we did our weekly check-in so that covers that we uh, verified all the bills so kind of like help with this process and it shouldn't take long to close this out so first let's talk about the income so income source number one is any income i receive via paycheck from my employer or the stipend and so i did receive two regular paychecks as well as my stipend so that's a total of three thousand five hundred forty dollars and 14 cents. Income source number two is any income that I receive um, from my savings or side income. And so that was a total of three thousand, not three thousand, three hundred seventy three dollars and 19 cents. Bonus income is the income that Papa sent to me and anything else that flows in that I didn't know was coming in. And that is going to be a total of $307.65. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're just going to calculate that. And I hope you can see it here. And that is going to be 354014373319 and 307.65. So for the month of May, the total that I was able to bring in was $4,220.98. All right. So then let's talk about the fixed expenses. There was no changes in the fixed expenses. So I am not going to write everything out. We're just going to draw this line and we're going to input the same total. All right. So the next area is our variable expenses. And there were some changes to our variable expenses. The first thing was the phone bill was actually $169.92. The next item that um, had changes was the insurance. I actually paid $28.07. Still don't know why. Because the minimum was $13.96 when everything settled from the credits. And I'm just not sure why I just didn't pay off the change and a little bit over that. But I did the $28.07 dollars and seven cents because that was the normal amount that I was paying each month if I didn't have a credit into January. So now this has brought me down under a hundred dollars. So I am on the fence if I'm going to pay this off in June so I don't have to worry about it until January and I cannot create a sinking fund to actually build that up or what I'm going to do. But we, we'll find out when I come back in July because <laughs> Of course, this is the last video before my vacation. Um, we'll know what I actually did in June. The next item is the unbudgeted. Now, unbudgeted actually is $168.23. And so those were the only items that changed. So what I usually do is I simply just take the total amount, which is $14, 15, 19, and I minus items, um, line items that have totals that's changing. So the phone bill of $169.85 and the insurance of $28. And then I just add what's actually in the in the um, actual column. And so that's $169.92 and $28.07 and $168.23. So fifteen eighty three fifty six. All right, so then we're gonna make our way to the envelope system. And so for the envelope system, I'm gonna put the actual amount that I spent because as we know, some categories are zero out and that is sent to my savings. So the first thing first is for fund money. The total I actually spent was $48.35. For gas, the total was $156.72. Don't worry, I didn't go over. Um, I budgeted out of my income $120, but from 
my side income, I was able to send $45. So this is always going to be off because I don't know when I'm going to send the side income because if I'm not doing the, um, if I'm not doing uh, my side hustles, then I don't have to send money for my side income to the gas to make up that difference. But when I do, I need to allocate that. So that's why this is, can always be off because of that. So no worries. We did not go over. We still have a little bit left. If you've seen the weekly check-in, we had a, a small amount left to go into our June budget. For groceries, it was $316.93. So we're under household. I didn't budget out of my Main income per app. Personal it was one seventy nine thirty one. For restaurants, the total was thirty nine dollars and seventy five cent. So let's go ahead and we're going to just total that. Okay, so that gives us a total of $741.06. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and move over to the savings and sinking fund. So I didn't um, save or spend anything out of my car maintenance sinking fund at this current time for my main income for gifts. Oh, before I move on, and I, um, for me, it's certain categories that I do not fund when I don't have a certain amount. And car maintenance is one. So I don't just put anything there just because. Okay, sorry for that little interruption. So I don't know where I left off. But what I'm going to say is that for me, it's certain categories that I will not fund if I cannot fund enough that will cover an expense. And so car maintenance are one is one of those categories because me just throwing in a small amount will add up if I continually do that. But if something happens in the immediate in this particular fund, then um, I will be pulling it from elsewhere. So I just rather dedicate with putting or um, not dedicate, but allocate sending that money that I would have that small amount to a category that I am more than likely I'm going to use within that month, if that makes any sense. And then create a plan to set up this fund with a end goal, okay? So that's where I'm at with that. So for gifts, it was $50. And I'm going to put a check here because I did spend that. Health, I didn't budget out of that, but I did um, check. Miss. I did spend out of it, so it's going to be a check. Miscellaneous, I did send the $8. I didn't spend out of this category. For Papa, I actually sent $250, and I did spend out of his category. For property, I didn't add anything, but I did spend. For taxes, I didn't add anything, but I did spend. For travel, I didn't add anything, and I didn't spend out of this particular category. And what I figured out is that I created a trip vault, like in my side income, I have the ability to create sub accounts, just like um, I've been seeing these um, Capital One where they're showing these different savings accounts where I have the ability with the financial institution that I send the side income to. And so initially I had travel as one of those sub accounts. And then what happened is that I created a trip and I think it's because I was using the travel when I was doing the March Madness. So I wanted to keep earning interest on my sub accounts. So I was just changing the names of these accounts in order to ensure that the money that was coming in was being, um, was gaining interest. So when I switched everything back, I left travel with nothing, but trip has something and I haven't been allocated to um, anything to this particular funding. So it's kind of weird. Um, another thing that I'm going to do on my hiatus is do a lot of cleaning up of my accounts. Um, I have already started a process of creating a new way to do my budget with me. So I am being productive because I'm going to be very unproductive as I, you know, um, 
we wind down to graduation festivities in trip activities okay so bill carryover there was nothing that i added and there was um nothing that i took out at this time now i did receive notification from my electricity company or energy company duke and they were stating that they're going to adjust my monthly bid um budget billing they didn't do it for june so i'm assuming in july that's when it will change and i'm not sure because I haven't been spending that much now. I haven't checked the recent bills. So I do need to go look at it and see if that amount that I am on for the budget, I actually exceeded that. And that's why they made that decision. So we'll figure that out. For some reason, I have $74.80 for savings, but I didn't allocate when I did my budget anything to savings. I actually allocated that to the check and buffer. But with savings, I was able to send $60.35 from the zero out challenge and various other little um, challenges. And then for the check-in buffer, I actually ended with $197. So let's go ahead and add that together. Okay. So that is $565.35. $65, so simply we're just going to take the total amount from the top, which is the $4,220.98. We're going to put that there. And then we're going to just calculate the totals. And so for variable expenses, it was $1,583.56. For fixed expenses, it was $1,331.01. $1 and then for the envelope system, it was $741.06. And there we go, a zero-based budget. And it's not a hot mess. We were able to account for every penny this time. And I'm happy about that, okay? <laughs> so the next video or segment you're going to see is me setting up my budget with me calendar view. I don't go into detail of the bills of June. I just set the calendar up because I did receive some items in April and I wanted to show you how I'm incorporating that in my budget. Okay, so now for the fun part in an even funnier situation. This video, part of the portion of the video is actually was recorded before my budget closed out. The reason it was, I decided to do that is I had the time and I didn't see any reason to hold off doing this part because I'm not going to be doing a full-on budget with you. So just setting up the calendar is something I can do at any time. So yay, less recording to do. So um, also today is when I'm recording this is actually Saturday, May 5th. So let me go ahead and flip to June. So we have our June here. I'm actually going to slide this out because I do need to get the package. So in April, along with the cash envelope that you've seen, I did purchase some stickers outside of my normal sticker shop with Jennifer Bleacher. And this was some stickers that I actually picked up from a lovely YouTuber, one who was part of the first group of ladies in the budgeting community that I subscribed to and as well as they encouraged me in the beginning of this process to keep going. And so I had purchased from her shop before, but I wanted to go ahead and, um, cause when I started following her, she wasn't doing stickers and then she transitioned to doing stickers. So first the sticker says, thank you. Your purchase made me smile. I hope receiving this makes you smile too. And this actually came from Megan with her courage to plan. And yes, Megan, it did make me smile. It made me all giddy and everything. Um, she has a wonderful spirit and, you know, and it's infectious. So what I purchased from her is her June kit. And what drew me to this is the deco um, butterflies. Butterflies is another thing that I, like, I love as well. I actually have a tattoo of a butterfly on my back so yes yeah, so that's what drew me to this kit so that was the kit that i purchased here and i hope this is getting it. um and it came with the payday stickers as well and i love it it's that tropical theme it's getting me in the mood for my june 
vacation. Um, it did come with little small freebies such as the quarterly check-in. Um, and I have this in the paper form, the digital downloadable, downloadable form. The Savings Go Tracker. Oh, I almost forgot. These are the date dots for it. That was another thing I like. I felt that they have fit in the space um, good. And so that was another thing. Payday stickers. And um, this was another freebie, the quarterly savings challenge. And so she broke that down. And as well as the budget. It says, thank you for choosing to support our business. I hope you love your purchase as much as I love creating it, especially for you. And her handle on YouTube and Instagram is her curse to plan. Thank you, Megan. So uh, another thing I picked off is day off. Now, what I was doing with the kit that I purchased from Jennifer Bleacher is um, the functional sticker kits. I would just write in work and day off. And I seen these and I like them. So I picked these up as well. I did pick up an appointment um, because my appointments vary. So it was not one particular appointment. So appointments for nails, appointments for doctors, things like that. So I just wanted a simple appointment. Vacation, I wanted to include vacation because <laughs> um, I'm going on vacation. So, and I just like the versatility of these vacation multi slips. I did pick up a sheet of the expense trackers and the uh, multi and I'm going to be using this for the first month uh, first time in June I'm going to see how this works out I just feel like it'll be more uniform than me, my writing and then also is allowing for me to move it around I was using my little sticky notes that I received it was like a little memo packet um, thing that um, Papa school, elementary school, no, his middle school, his middle school gave parents volunteers. And so I had never used it. Um, I just kept it at home like as a memento. So when I transitioned to actually setting this up, I used those as place markers when I didn't know when the bill was due. So now I have actually stickers. So I'm going to see how this works and then we're going to see about purchasing more. I also bought affirmations and this is the color affirmations and the reason why is because my worksheets are black and white and I just feel like this will throw a little color into them and I did purchase the ones that's in the uh just black and white and this is the faith the belief hope and love affirmations and I can use this throughout the uh, my weekly setup I did pick up a two side hustle paydays and that's simply because I do side hustles and so I get can get paid up to four days outside of my regular pay and I just wanted to when I do my weekly setups if I know that I will be receiving a um, money from DoorDash on Tuesday or Uber Eats on Tuesday I can put that there because I'm expected to receive that money as well as uh, Wednesday is Instacart, Thursday is Grubhub, and Friday is Ship. So I like to just have a way to know when I'm expected to bring in some. So this is the kit I purchased. Now, um, as you know, I use the Gooseby Twins Planner. So there's no guarantee that this will actually fit here. But we're going to go with it. We're going to try it out, y'all. We're not going to not use it um, at this present time. And let's see how this runs out i want to make sure i can cover as much as i can i just feel like i'm not you know what i don't know why i'm acting like i don't need to turn this around because i gotta see it so let me turn it around and i gotta see that i'm at the edge so and they pulled up very nicely so that's a plus <laughs> They did work out. Now, I was supposed to get some tweezers, but I'm too lazy to do that. And my, it starts on a Friday. And let me see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it should be the 21st. Today, the 15th. Let me start at the 15th. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the 21st. It's the first day of my June budget. Now, I'm kind of debating. Oh, I maybe need tweezers to do this because 
Yeah, we're gonna need tweezers. Yep, be back. Okay, I'm back and I already had the tweezers. But what I was seeing, and I'm gonna speed this part up because this can take, you know, forever, um, that I'm debating on making June a magic month. Now, it's not a magic month. I only get paid twice in, in June, the month of June. But I can designate at least three of my paychecks to the month of June. So I'm kind of debating on that at this point because I just don't want to think too much about budgeting. In June, uh, I want everything to already be planned and I just go to my planner and my budget sheets for reference. So we will see. So let's go ahead and get these down. <music> blown up on my let me get these back because I don't want to mix them okay I had this that was like closely matched but I didn't have all of them and then the next ones I had was this so gotta make sure to put those back so yeah so this was the kit from Megan um, it did come with this washi strip. Alrighty. So this is my setup. Like I said that I had to do some improvising. I used these stickers from my, um, kits from my, from Jennifer Bleacher to make up for that time. And like I said that it's because I'm thinking about just doing a three paycheck budget. So I don't have to think about budgeting for the remainder of the june uh -huh, budget and so i can get back on track and so on and so forth so this is how it's looking um i'll go in later on and i'll put in everything that needs to be put in as far as when my bills are due when i'll be using these lovely stickers so when i come back i may just give y'all a quick flash of how it look um and then from there we'll be good to go yes it is time for me to actually close out this video i hope you enjoy that segment and thank everyone who has been on this journey with me thus far even uh, my new subscribers i know you're like okay i just subscribed i have a plethora of videos that you can go back and you can watch while i'm on my hiatus while i'm resting so in future videos um past this one you may not see as much activity for me if i'm not commenting just know that i'm watching and i'm liking your videos i just at this time want to limit the engagement so I can focus a little bit more on myself. All right, y'all. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around and I'll be overjoyed when I come back and you're still around. <laughs> um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, everyone hit that thumbs up and please share this with your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Peace out.